thanks for a great presentation tonight. It was excellent. As you're going through it, I, uh, had, I thought a question that atheists might ask, and it's kind of similar to the very first question that was asked, just pushing it a bit further. If a materialist asked you, why should I believe what you are calling general revelation is true rather than, than my materialism based on science, how would you respond to that? Yeah, it's all, it's all about what is the purpose of a worldview or a philosophy. Is the purpose of a philosophy to create castles in the air, nice little systems that hang up in the abstract realm, or is it to explain the real world? If it's to explain the real world, then it has to fit the real world. You know, that's why we go to general revelation, which is you know, their, their own, and notice I kept stressing, their own experience doesn't fit their worldview. It's not like I'm telling them, I disagree with you. We're pointing out that you yourself say that when you take your, like Steven Pinker, you take your lab coat off and you go home and you switch to a completely different paradigm. So it has to do with what is the purpose of a worldview. Most people want a worldview not, not for some abstract little logically coherent system. Yeah, like I kept saying, uh, the uh, reductionist view is very logically consistent. If you start with natural causes alone, we will end up as being complex machines. That's logically consistent. But it's hanging up here in the abstract realm. doesn't fit the real world of even those who profess it. So I would press them to, to the question of why are you even, why are we discussing philosophy? We want a philosophy that explains how you and I actually have to live in this world.